Just a disclaimer, I know these questions are fairly political, so feel free to pass on any. So, where do you stand on feeding squirrels? I really feel like people want to feel like a good person by feeding the squirrels, but that's really more for them than it is for the squirrels. Humans, were no better than squirrels, and we have to acknowledge our savior complex. They can take care of themselves as nature intended. Let's not circumvent the real issue at hand. The dichotomy between human and squirrel has become symbiotic to the point where they depend on us. And it is our duty as humanitarians to be there for them. I'm actually glad you asked. Just think for a second, if you were a squirrel and you had the option between being handed food or having to scrounge in the dumpster, did you know Americans waste $165 billion of food a year? Just think if just some of that food went towards squirrels. We need to reevaluate the framework of thought that says that humans are better than other animals. Rochelle, yeah. do you have an opinion about squirrel feeding? I just like feeding animals. Don't read too much into it. Squirrels, pigeons, whatever will take my breadcrumbs. And nature is nature, man. You just gotta let them do their own thing, you know? I mean, like, feed a squirrel a nut and it's full for like only an hour, but show a squirrel how to forage and it'll like finally be free. People are so worried about food and feeding the squirrels that they forget about an equally important issue, water. Did you know that 90% of road kills are due to dehydration? Hydrate, don't dehydrate. Hashtag squirrel justice. As president of Feed the Squirrels Club, I know a lot about this issue. I did an internship at Squircom, the Squirrel Research Center of America. If you want to know more about this issue, come to our general interest meeting. It's on September 3rd in Bush Hall. I just don't care. I don't understand why everyone's so heated around here. I can't believe all the things people in Don't Feed the Squirrel Club say. I'm appalled by the fact that there are actually people who oppose feeding squirrels. Maybe I should transfer. Did I make the right choice? Why don't you transfer? Real change needs to be made on this campus. I must get involved immediately. When's the general interest meeting? Squirrel salute. What's that? Squirrel salute. Before we start this meeting, there is a matter of utmost importance to which we must attend. Among you, there is a brave patriot who will undertake a secret mission for the betterment of the campus squirrels. In order to qualify, you must be a freshman, and you must be willing to sacrifice regular participation in club activities. I would do this that, mission will but be dangerous I'm for the board next semester. and not for the faint-hearted. Wow. It will require skill courage, you and raw that. nerve. Yeah. Some of you don't have what it takes. I understand. But I know one of you will step up to the plate and serve this club proud. If interested, leave your name under the big oak tree. I'm Maple. Jason. If you get now it, we must attend will you tell me about it? To an we issue of sometime. smaller scale. Yeah. Put your it number has come in to my, my attention that the feed in the campus bird feeders has been replaced. <laughs> Wait, so what happened? Tell me everything. Okay, it was crazy. So I put my name in the oak tree, like they said. And I didn't know if they were gonna even get it. But then I got a call, even though I didn't give them my phone number, and they told me to get in a car out front. Okay. If anyone asks, I'm here. So I left my dorm, and I got in the car, and it was just me and Napoleon. And he said to me, I need to know. Are you in or out? I'm in, 100%. Good. We need you to be a spy on Don't Feed the Squirrels. We need to know what we're up against. You're a freshman, so they don't know you. Go to the meetings and integrate yourself into their ranks. I'll find you when you need the reports. You can count on me. Wow, that's so intense. You must be really brave. Well, someone has to do it. I'm just doing my duty. Who run the world? Squirrels! Okay, everybody, welcome to DFTS, where we let nature be nature. I am so excited about this year. We are gonna get so much done. It is an honor to serve as your president. So let's get down to business.
Hi. I don't think I've seen you at a meeting before. Um, what did you think? Do you think you'll come back? Yeah, I think I will. Cool. This week, they printed a lot of posters. We should step up our poster game. <laughs> Never played. <laughs> I really so you, you drive and then you like steer I like this. this was a. Oh yeah, I mean I can always I talk always about it. Really? Me too. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm 11, you're 12. Is anybody 13? Um, no. <laughs> like it's just. They're really well organized. I'll give them that. They have a rally in front of DeWick this Friday at 3. We should change the time and dates on all their posters. This is going to be a tough semester if Hazel keeps running her meetings so well. Anyway, I'm going to be in a group of DFTS members stopping passerbys from feeding the squirrels in front of Tish this weekend. I'll try to sabotage the event. I can't believe somebody so intelligent and kind can run a group so horrific and malicious as DFTS. Anyway, that's my report. Also, isn't it weird that Hazel actually does have hazel eyes? Hmm. Anyway. All right, great meeting, everyone. Let's really make this week count. I know things haven't been going our way recently, but we're gonna keep our heads up. FTS have had a really suspiciously strong semester. If anyone has any information about why that would be, please let me know. Thank you. And on a lighter note, I'm having a movie night on Saturday right here. Um, so if you want to come, please do. We're going to be watching Jurassic World. <laughs> Who run the world? Squirrels! Oh, that was good, y'all. This guy just crammed. Space. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I'm good. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the original movie? No, I've, I've only seen the sequel, The Lost Squirrel. Oh, that's way worse than the original. I'll have to find another movie night. So, like, I don't mean to harsh your mellow, but, like, I'm trying to watch the movie. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I feel like my mellow has definitely been harsh. Hey, that's not really a nice thing to say. Hey, man, I mean. It's not cool. So that's the last time I brought acorns to school. <laughs> um, what about you? I heard your embarrassing story. Now, how about your darkest secret? Yeah, my darkest secret. Um, I can't really think of anything right now. Oh, come on. Really? You're always so quiet in the meetings. I figured you'd have some kind of secret. <laughs> nope. Uh, no secrets at all. I guess I'm just a boring person. I don't think you're boring. Oh, thanks. I don't think you're boring either. 
would uh, would you actually be interested in maybe hanging out sometime outside of the meeting? You know, because I don't talk much in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I was planning on going to the Fells next weekend. Do you want to come? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So uh, I could maybe oh, yeah, give you my number? Exchange numbers, yeah. Here you go. Whoa! Uh, it is late. Um, I really have to be getting back to my dorm. Uh, my, my roommate, actually, uh, he just texted me. He's crowning, so I'll be right back. Uh, okay. See you next weekend. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Here's the situation. So, I went to this movie night for Don't Feed the Squirrels Club yesterday because I had to fulfill my duty as spy and I met this girl. Do you know Hazel? Anyway, she's just so easy to talk to and anyway, it's, it's weird because, well, I'm still with Maple and that's nice, but we can't be seen together out in public and she's really strict about that. So, I'm just like, I is it even worth it? Wait. But how could I even consider being with somebody who doesn't believe in feeding squirrels? I've spent my whole college career spying on her and trying to ruin the thing she believes in most. God, if she only knew. You know what? You're right. I can't tell her now. I made a commitment. I'll just cancel our trip to the Fells and apologize. Wait, if I do that, she might get suspicious. I'll just go to the Fells with her and that'll be it. But I should probably use that day to get information about DFTS. Napoleon would like that. Jeez, I never knew being a sneaky spy would be so complicated. Look at that little guy. Oh yeah, good eye. Here he is in his natural habitat, just simply living. It's beautiful. Yeah, totally. I'm sorry. I know we aren't here to talk about the club. No, you don't have to be sorry. I really like talking about the club, and I really care about the squirrels. What else can we do this semester? I don't know. I think the most important thing we need to do is change the perception of squirrels. People and squirrels, we're the same. We're both species just living their lives. People aren't any better than squirrels. Yeah, you're so right. Like, they deserve to live just as much as we do. Wow. You can see so much from up here. Yeah, you can. Actually, I have a girlfriend. What? I couldn't, like, find the time to just blurt it out. Although, I guess I just did. I hate him. Why did your parents name you Hazel? I don't know. They just did. I think it's pretty. Stop. I like it. 
Look, I'm sorry about... It's just, this relationship went really fast and I freaked out. I've been really stressed and my mind has been all over. What are you stressed about? Well, I've been having trouble making meaningful friends. I came from a small town where everybody knew everything about everyone, but now that I'm here, I feel like people don't even know me. Sometimes I feel invisible. Uh, Jason? Where'd you go? I can't find you. Oh, oh there you are. Very funny. You know, this year hasn't been easy for me either. What are you stressed about? Grades? Yeah, grades. I'm pre-law, so it's cool, but it's just a lot of reading. And I have to run this club, and it's like we're being sabotaged or something. FTS knows way too much about us. My parents are always calling, being like, Hazel, how's the internship search? So, it's a lot. Wow, that uh, really sounds like a squirrel wind of emotions. I mean, <laughs> it sounds really nuts. Oh my god, no, that one was really bad. You're right. I should, uh, I should really just store that for later. Oh my god. <laughs> Who run the world? Squirrels. Who run the world? Squirrels! Oh good, you're here. What do you think of Maple? Yeah, I know. It's like, I really admire her, but I don't know if I like spending time with her. We always talk about feeding the squirrels and what she does and how she is. It'd just be nice to feel appreciated, but we agree on most things and then there's Hazel and I just got back from seeing her. It was awesome. We talk so easily, but I think I made things weird. I had to tell her about Maple when we almost kissed and it was this whole big thing. Anyway, I'm just so confused. And I don't even understand how we get along so well because she doesn't believe in feeding squirrels. Anyway, sometimes it seems like I know where she's coming from, but even if I hoped that we could date, eventually it would come out that I'm a sneaky, sneaky spy. Because if I quit being a spy, I'll never see her again. But if I stay being a spy, eventually she'll find out and it'll be even worse. So I guess I'll tell Feed the Squirrels that I don't want to be their sneaky spy anymore and I'll break things off with Hazel. That way, I won't be trapped in anything I don't want to do and I won't be playing with anybody's emotions. Thanks. You're such a great listener. What do you got for me? Actually, I have some bad news. I can't spy for Don't Feed the Squirrels Club anymore. Napoleon? You said you were in. A hundred percent. I know, I know, I, I just- All of I, our work! I can't- Ruined! All because you lack the courage to do what's necessary? I'm disappointed in you. Coward! And- we have to wait a whole other year to find some, some irrelevant freshman. And I'm a senior.
So, well, what are you doing here? I mean, you haven't really been at the meetings lately, and you never responded to my text, so I wanted to come by and check how you're doing. Yeah, I'm fine. Just hibernating? It's sort of. Actually, I should have told you sooner, but I've been putting it off. I've been a spy this whole semester for Feed the Squirrels. I just need to say that I'm truly sorry, but I got in too deep, and before I learned the respect that your club deserves, I couldn't go back. So that's why I quit. And that's why I haven't been to meetings. Thanks for telling me. Was any of the time that we spent together real? Or were you just spying? Yes, of course it was real. That's why I quit and broke up with Maple. But I like you and I respect you. And you've taught me that people are more than just their views on certain issues. I totally understand if you don't want to spend any more time with me, but just know that what I feel is real. I, I appreciate it, and I liked you too. Maybe I still do, I don't know. I need some time to figure things out. It's a lot to take in. I have to go. Hi. Thanks for meeting me here. Yeah, I was glad to see your text. I've been thinking a lot about what you said, and how our time together was real. And to be honest, it was. You made me feel less overwhelmed. It was good, and I missed you when you stopped coming. So, do you want to give this a shot? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I want to press Maybe. into your snow angel. That's you're, true. You're, you're, you're on. It's recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.